and what a door it was, because we found ourselves inside of Angel Creation. So we're probably going to fight Santa Claus in here, because, you know, he's, uh, he's always lurking. Whoa, angels! Who saw that coming? I didn't. Bianco Angelo? No. Looks the same, almost. But this is his father, or his big brother, or his illegitimate lover. Alto Angelo. He is the leader of the pack. He's a rebel, and he never ever did any good. They are tougher, they are faster. They usually catch me off guard because I fight them the same way as a Bianco Angelo, and that's a bad move. Don't do that. Don't do that. Fight them differently. Fight them as if you give a crap. Because they give a crap. Taking them down is basically the same, you know, sort of strategy, but... You need to be more cautious as they move a lot faster, they have different attack patterns. And if they happen to be in the same room as Bianco Angelo, they will fight in formation. They will give orders and the Bianco Angelo will attack in different formations. On occasion they've been known to go into a triangle pattern and fire a giant ball of energy at you. Nasty stuff. Uh, in a comment that I received uh, in an earlier video, you can in fact break their shields. Um, it's easier to do on uh, easier difficulties, but those shields can be broken. You just have to believe in yourself. Put a little faith in that sword of yours. Oh man, this place is so dark. This entire portion of the game is really dark. Except that that Angelo who's just chilling in that tube. Tube Angelo, we call him. He's cool. Not a big talker. Oh, I cannot believe I just got hit by that. I saw it coming a mile away, and I just stood there. What? Was, was I expecting the, uh, the enemy to understand that I knew it was coming and just have him give up and say, Okay, you got me. You knew what I was going to do. I'll just... <laughs> oh, man. No. It doesn't work that way. And I'm an idiot for thinking it does. Alright. Where's the exit to this cage? There we go. I can finally get out of here. Right? No. Of course not. That is silly. I have more Angelo to fight. Bring them on. Let them come out of their apartments. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, now, that was kind of fast. I don't think I deserved all of that. That was dangerous. Now, you won't see them go into formation. There are three, but remember that there needs to be at least one Alto Angelo on the scene. And at the moment, there are none. So I can take my merry old time fighting these guys in any way that I see fit. Hopefully dodging when they dive at me. Come on, Voyager. Think for a moment. Use your brain. Stop being so single-minded. You were so much better in the earlier levels. What happened to you? See? Voyager of yesteryear would never be hit by something like that, or resort to Devil Trigger. Goodness gracious. To be fair, the first half of this level was rather taxing. This level in particular is, uh, quite dangerous. Especially on Dante Must Die. There's a mini-boss, there's that game which could be the end of your life because if you land on the wrong circle you could fight actual bosses. Then you have an entire rest of the level to go through with higher tier enemies to face. In hordes. This is only the beginning, people. Ah, I hated that barrel. Let's get out of here. Right, that was cool. Alright, let us go through... Up through here... Oh, I remember this tunnel! This is how we got down here. And then that switch just, uh... Closed the floor, allowing me to get back up. Isn't that sweet? Come on, wait, ah, oh, Jesus. Really? 
I touched that. I was on that with my tippy toe. You saw it. My tippy toe touched the platform. That should have been enough. That should have been good enough for you. For me. For the mothers against drunk driving. That should have been it. No respect. No respect at all. You know, I should probably keep that sword red at all times. It's very fetching. It makes me look handsome. Where's the entrance? Where's where's the entrance? Where is it is it this one? This arch. Yes! Okay. Man, the camera angles are so like duh frustrating sometimes. In this castle. That is a big hole. I make a mess when I go places. No wonder Nero never gets invited to parties. Oh, this looks familiar. Never been here before. Oh, and if it isn't our good friend, the Frost, and I completely missed with my fully charged sword. Are you honestly giving me that nonsense? Really? My gosh. Oh, I am not in the mindset to fight these things right now. I've been through so much already in this level. I just want to go home. I just want my girlfriend and, you know, some cocoa. That'd be nice. Just keep barraging me with these reoccurring enemies while I fight them in my reoccurring wardrobe. I don't have the... Ow! That wasn't very nice. Look, now I'm almost dead. Honestly. Double trigger! Reap what you sow, you reptilian little frost monkey. I've had it. Well, monkeys aren't really reptilian, but in this case, I don't give 17 craps. Because those are my craps, and I worked hard for those craps, and if you try to take those craps from me, you shouldn't, because you shouldn't take crap from anyone. That's where that adage comes from. You think about it. You, you write it down and remember it for the future. Alright, well, that's enough wrestling with frosts. I've got places to go people to shoot, bridges to cross, hopefully there are no trolls under those bridges. If there are, I'm coming for them. Well, you know, as best as I could anyway. There's that combo statue I can't hit, and I never will. No dreams. There are no dreams for you. Let's go. Into the unknown. You and me. Yay, there's the cutscene I was asking for. I like how the waterfall went down immediately the second that I crossed the bridge. It's almost like it knew. Alright, let's go. Hey, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Awesome. Well, whatever's there, we'll see it in the next episode of Devil May Cry 4. See you next time, guys. Forest. <sighs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Must be the effect of the gate. Sorry, kid. This is gonna have to wait. How much could he really know?